Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. The Ruby Beast wasn't this clean earlier. Chase from Attention to Detail and Karen killed it as always. Check this out. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chase. If you guys don't know me already, I am the owner of Attention to Detail PA. We are the ones who take care of all of Steve's mess. Like this one. If you guys haven't seen already, this is his Jeep that he just took off-roading, the Ruby Beast. And um, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. I mean, it's just caked in mud. See the wheel wells? See all that in there? all underneath the wheels are caked with mud the sides it still have rocks on them I mean this thing is just this thing's just hammered all oh, the suspension pieces look at the front of it this is supposed to be black just to give you a reference that's supposed to be black more in the wheel wells there's a whole new layer in there that's Kieran Kieran What's going on, guys? This one today. I'm sure you guys know Kieran already. But for those of you who didn't see, Steve got a little, uh, a little bit of trouble back here with his rear bumper. Looks like he uh, hit a rock. What he ended up doing was he busted out his tail light, dented the bumper, and then also dented this right here and got some paint off. So I think in another video we're going to be taking care of that for him, trying to touch it up as best as we can. But. The object for today is just to get it cleaned up. We're not doing a um, full crazy detail on it, but I guess we'll end up doing that to the outside, whether we want to or not, just to get all the mud <laughs> off. Uh, but the main focus of today is to do this safely, right? So when you're removing mud from a vehicle or sand or whatever the case may be, you want to work on pre-treating the vehicle first. So that way you're not just rubbing all that around in the paint and scratching it. So it's going to get a really, really thorough rinse the pressure wash for probably about uh, like two hours <laughs> and then after that we're going to foam it up, rinse it down again, take care of all the suspension, door jams. finished up doing a our first appearance on the paint. All I just used was the pressure washer. I'd say we got most of it off of there. Most of the really heavy stuff that was clumped up on there. I got pretty dirty. I mean I am just covered in uh, mud now but I mean, as you can see we hit the wheels. We got the wheel wells. And then next up Kieran is gonna go under and do all of the suspension. He's tiny enough to get under there. I am not. So he's gonna do that after that. I'll pick the camera back up. We're going to do a little uh, snow foam action. We foam the whole thing up. Uh, we're going to be using a citrus based foam, and that is going to have a lot more cleaning power than regular foam does. And yes, it is safe on paint, but that's going to help break so much more of that dirt and grime up, and uh, it's going to help us in the long run. Then after that, we'll foam it up again, do our contact wash, and then um, dry it off and start doing a little finishing details. Kieran just foamed up the whole underbody of the car. First off, he rinsed it. Then we went around and uh, hit the foam can with the uh, citrus cleaner in there. So it's going to sit there and do its work. All that's sitting on there. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. Then we are going to pressure wash it all off. Get it all nice and clean under there. Maybe hit some of the dirtier spots with a, with a brush and some degreaser if it doesn't come off. But all that's going to sit and fill up. We're going to rinse it down. And then she'll be good to go.
warmed up with the citrus, the citrus cream. So, I'm gonna let this sit on here for a few minutes. Luckily, it is a nice cloudy day, so we can let it sit on here a little longer. Right now, it's just getting all those cracks. Help break down that dirt so we rinse it again. Then after this step, we'll be able to go around and start doing our contact wash and do the wheels and do our regular washing procedure. Starting the contact wash now. We did a really, really thorough uh, pre rinse with it. Hit it with the foam cannon, rinse it down again. Then, what we just did is we scrubbed the tires, clean the wheels, and then hit the uh, wheel wells and degreaser and the brushes to make sure they're extra, extra clean. Uh, like I said, after that, now we're doing our contact wash with the foam cannon once again. And this is uh, hopefully the last step to getting all the really, really bad dirt off. Then, to this is just the fun detailing part of this. Putting all the little details, uh, like the windows, tire shine, wheel wells, door jams that need to get done. And then we are going to uh, take it the inside just a little bit. But I'll show you guys after we have this thing dried off. I think Steve could hit something pretty bad right here. Right around here, looks like there's some nasty, nasty scratches in there. You guys got to stay on top and make sure he's not beating this thing up anymore. Because we're the ones that have to deal with it. <laughs> we just finished up the contact wash on the car so now what's next is we're going to dry it uh, after that we're going to put a sealant on it and then just touch some small things up on the car but it's all clean now all the mud's off took us about say an hour and a half two hours um, we spent most of the time on the underbody of it just because that's where all the mud was caked in it's getting pulled in right now it's still wet we'll dry it up and i'll show you guys what it looks like start on the inside now really really dusty in here that's about it but i mean well, yeah, there's mud too. I mean, you got mud on here, but that's not too, too bad. Um, it actually might be. If you look over there, it's pretty bad. Yeah. But it's just really dusty in here. So we're going to give it a quick little wipe down. Dust it out. It's not going to be perfect, but just want to get a little cleaner. But I mean, look at the back seats. You could draw on them. So as we're doing the inside, we noticed someone left a little note in here. Wash me. I promise you, Steve, that wasn't us. <laughs> it's all cleaned up now. You guys remember what it looked like before, how much mud was on it. It was absolutely disgusting. But the mat's clean, hit the seats, got all the mud that was off of here, got it over there on that door. Dusted it. All cleaned up in here. Vacuumed it as well. Then the whole paint, you guys know we did here. We pre rinsed it, rinsed it again, rinsed it, rinsed it, and then rinsed it again. And then rinsed it one more time after that. And then washed it and then rinsed it again. Um, after that, we took it inside, we dried it, and we put a paint seal on it. So that's why it's all just looking shiny now. All the suspension got cleaned up. Real well. Hit the sides right here. I mean, you guys remember the front bumper. I mean, you guys couldn't even tell that it was black. It's all cleaned up here. Hopefully, Steve will put some before clips in here as I'm doing this, uh, showing the final uh, product right here. Do you guys remember just how terrible it was? All cleaned up under there. And uh, he did get some, like you guys already know, he hit this back here, but. You couldn't really see the silver mud on there. He got that really good. Scratches, really got some deep scratches up in here too. Feeling along the top. 
That's just that's just part of it though. You going up against the trees and stuff. This side's a lot worse. I mean, he's got scratches all right here, all in there. And some of these even look like they're through the paint. You can even feel them with your finger. So we'll see what happens with those. Jeep life. That's the Jeep life. That's right. <laughs> but we have a few plans for this thing. What we're going to be doing, like you guys know, this spot in the back, we're going to be touching up. Uh, we're going to be coating the windshield in a uh, special coating that's going to help when he goes off roading it in the rain. Take care, guys. As you can see, we're back out at the JP shop, and I'm going to show the guys the carnage from our off-roading trip at the famous Reading Outdoors. And I got the missus with me. No, we're fine. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I want to show you the carnage from our trip. I mean, look at that bumper. It's a little... Uh, nah, it's all good. It's a little tweaked. I think we're going to have to smash this out a little bit, sand this down. <laughs> Picking up a tail at Jeff D'Ambrosio Auto Group after I leave here, so I got that thing. Yeah, I don't think warranty is going to mm -hmm. cover that. I, I mean, or it's insurance. Brand, it's brand new. It's brand new, I know. I don't know what happened to it. It fell out going down the road. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad this dude documents everything. <laughs> yeah, right? That ain't bad. But that's it, you know? That's very minor. Yeah. That's, that's the good thing about four-wheeling is that it gives you opportunities to upgrade yeah. components <laughs> like this. Do we ever confirm what bumper we're going to go with? No, you didn't. Not yet? Okay. I'm going to do whatever you want. Okay. I like the Poison Spider one, but... I'll have to look at them. It's the one thing I want to incorporate with the bumper, though, is I want to make sure it can accommodate a 40-inch tire at some point. we got to worry about the license plate. So, if you guys have any suggestions, comment below and give us the reason why we should go with that bumper. So, one, my concerns are 40-inch tire and license plate. But that's probably not too much of a concern for Gabe because I'm sure there's plenty of options to yep. mount your license plate here. And yep, all kinds of options. Cool. We're back home. Jeff D'Ambrosio's hooked us up with our tail light. If you guys are ever in the need or in the market of any quality OEM parts, make sure you head up Jeff D'Ambrosio Auto Group of Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Or if you're ever in a market for a new vehicle or a used vehicle, they got them all. I mean, everything. They have plenty of dealerships, the biggest inventory on the East Coast. Check them out. Let them know that I sent you. They're always taking care of me, and I'm always taking care of you guys, and vice versa. That's what we do. That's what it's all about, right, guys? So definitely check them out. Awesome supporter of the channel, and I like to support them as well. And they'll take care of you. But make sure you give me a shout-out when you go over there. Be like, hey, Beast Project sent me over. Ask for Joe D'Ambrosio, and he'll get you taken care of. But we got our OEM stock driver side tail light with all those stupid sensors in it and man this thing is not cheap believe you me it's not cheap because of all those sensors and at the moment there's no aftermarket options for if you have the lane avoidance sensors and all that in your tail light now if you have a halogen tail light and you want to upgrade to led there's options out there for you very cheap options but i didn't want to lose all that because that's what the jeep's equipped with so I'm going back to stock. Let me know your thoughts. Hi, missus. Let me know your thoughts on what bumper I should go with. I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards right now, the Warren because of the tire carry option and they could add some jerry cans on there, maybe a hijack lift, which I don't really think I'm gonna ever add. I got another idea for that, um, but I'm leaning towards that one the most, but I like Metal Cloak. I also like Road Armor. Um, What's the other company that he suggested? Poison? Poison. Poison Off-Road. Comment below what company you think I should go with and why I would greatly appreciate it because i got to make a decision very soon because we are going to another off-roading crawling event for canines. Protection for canines. It's at Rouse Creek, October 18th and 19th. We'll be there on the 19th. But you guys have to check it out. I've been posting it on my social media. If you're not following me on social media, you gotta check us out on Facebook, Instagram. We're on Twitter, but I don't really do that much on Twitter. Mainly uh, Instagram, sorry. We love Instagram. You, you can enjoy some of the stories of me and the missus on Instagram. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this video now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit all over the place, but I wanted to get some content out to you guys, keep you guys in the loop, keep you guys updated. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you stop by for the first time, make sure you smash tap do something to that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, ding ding. We love you guys. We will see you on the next upload. Boop it. Boop it. Boop it.